My name is Jasmine Gingerat. I am the coordinator here at GB Davis Recreation Center. I am here to talk a bit about the history of Carver Park and how it wasn't originally located here. It was a few blocks east from here at the Rays Flores Park. The park was originally founded in 1943. It took up to two years to come up with the name. This name was decided between community activists and local churches, and they decided on George Washington Carver Park in 1945. The playground then was added by a local association, and then later on, a tennis court was added by community leaders. Now that was the Carver Park back in the day. In the 1920s, the current location of Carver Park was a community school. So in 1949, the city commission proposed to the school district to take over the original Carver Park. And within the same year, Parks and Recreation Board decided to take over Carver Park where it's located today. The city of Avalon Parks and Recreation Board decided to turn the school grounds into a playground and then turn into the school building into a recreation building. This 1.66 acre land was then turned into George Washington Carver Park. Then Carver Park Recreation was completed on November 1st, 1966. This recreation was known as Carver Park for numerous years. In 1988, there was a petition started by citizens of Abilene to rename this location to GB Daniels in order of Genevieve Daniels, who was a coordinator of this center. Genevieve Daniels was a citizen of Abilene from 1943 to 1987. She touched the hearts of many people within this community and she was known for reaching out to at-risk teens within this community. Even though she passed away in December of 1987, on February the 2nd, 1988, the Carver Park was then renamed to GB Daniels Recreation Center. The Carver Park that you know today has continued to grow throughout the years. In 1980, there was an outdoor basketball court added. The park behind the recreation has been renovated twice since 1990. We are still heavily involved within the community. Our annual fall festival has continued to grow throughout the years. We offer after school program camps and senior citizen services for the community. That was a little history of Carver Park. Again, my name is Jasmine Gingerad, and I hope you learned something new about the city of Abilene Park. <laughs>